yeah hello everybody and uh, welcome back and we have successfully generated a random number and the next step is to change our image so let's go and start working on it so let me explain a bit about the tag over here i think i forgot to explain you on my previous lecture so the tag over here we have set some string value over here which is a activity main activity and over here you can see it's printing or main activity the purpose of this one is that if you have a lot of line of code over here let's say you have thousands of line that's printing in our log so how do we filter out to that specific that tag so we can filter out using this one just copy this one and just paste it over here filter out it will filter you on your filter the log only based on the tag so that's the main purpose of this tag that we are using over here. So tag log.e log.d will take a two parameter or two argument that we need. The first one is uh, the tag over here and the message that you want to print out in your log. So our next step is to generate our image. So if you go to the drawable over here and we have an image over here. So based on the number generated, we need to change the image. So what I will do is I will go over here and I will just use a when statement. So when and just opening and a closing bracket and I also need to have a opening and closing curly brace. So inside this I need to put a random number. When the random number we have then what we want to do is if that random number is 1. So if the random number is 1 then what you will do is we need to have a curly brace opening and the closing over here and what we'll do is we'll just copy this one or we can just say two when you have a two what you want to do and when the random number is of a three let's say it's of three then what you want to do and when you have a random number of four then what you want to do with that random number of a four and we have a next each of five and the last one we have each of six and yeah that's the last one we need to have so we have a opening and curly brace inside this we need to put our logic that what you want to do when the number one is generated number two is generated three four five and six is generated so the logic is that when the one is generated we need to change the image of our this so we have the dice image just copy this and go to our over here and i'll just say dice image dot set the image resource we just select the set the image resource from our driver so when it is uh one i need to change it to one so what i will do is add the resource dot id uh, no resource dot not id is resource that driver because it's inside the driver folder so we need to say r dot drawable so inside this drawable i have a image of dice one so i will set it to dice one so similarly when it is true i will just say that it is a dice image dot set image resource and i'll say r dot drawable dot dice two right and similarly on the three i'll just say as a sorry for that dice image dot set image resource and i say r dot drawable dot dice three so that's three and on the four let's just paste that and say r the set image resource r dot drawable dot the image that we want to place is four and then we have a five dot set image resource r dot drawable dot dice of a five yeah and finally we have a six and that is set image resource is r the driver dot dice number six yeah we have a six so i hope you understand the code over here what we are doing is we are first generating a random number and we have a when statement over here that is we are selecting doing some uh, let's comment this one and we will say um, when Expressi or an expression. We are having some expression over here. So when we get a random number and we pass it to over here, and when the random number is of one, we will change the 
image to one and when we have a random number of two we will change the image of two similarly for three four five and six that's it so whenever we have this random number we just go and change the and we will go and change the image and put it inside or place it inside our image view so uh, let's go and run our application and let us see it in our action so application is running and now let me open the lock cat and i'll go to okay let me remove this one first and okay so let us generate a random number and change the image so just click on it yeah that's correct yeah we have done it so if you can see the main activity we are generating number three and the image is changed to three if you click on it again it's one and your image is one and if you click it again three and two yeah that's fine two and we have a four and five yeah five is it correct and let's wait for a six if we can get yeah we get final six so that's it uh, we are able to do it whenever it's a uh, number is generating and we are able to change the image so that's uh, good we have made it and the next thing is that whenever we have this number and the image is changed Depending on the player, we need to set their score. So if it's a player one, then we need to set it for the player one. And if it's for player two, we will need to set it for a player two. So uh, let's do it in our next lecture. Uh, let's meet up in our next lecture. Till then, have a great day.